Today, we are going to talk about this guy, also known as John Mulaney, writer for SNL and kind of a comedian. Today, I am going to show you how to become this John Mulaney. Step 1. You need a suit and a tie. This is what he always wears on stage, so you need to wear this if you want to become John Mulaney. Second, you need to do your hair in this hairstyle that he does. It kind of looks like my brother's hair from the 6th grade. I tried doing this hairstyle and it did not look good on me at all. It made my head look even more like an egg. So I eventually decided to just leave my hair look normal and to not go full John Mulaney hairstyle. Step 3 is to be a proud Asian American woman that will be treated with respect. John was often thought of as looking like an Asian American woman, so luckily I am half Asian. Step 4 might take a little more work. This involves you coming up with stories to tell that have to do with your childhood and might involve you rambling on about weird things that happened. Step 5 is to change the volume of your voice as you're talking from a grown man to a pee pubescent boy. Now it is time to put all those steps together. So, when I was younger, I went to Italy for the summer with my cousin, and it was a great experience, except this one thing that happened that I remember we were walking around the streets of Italy, and we were walking with this tour guide, and this tour guide was like walking so fast, but it was like 100 degree weather, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but by the way, there they talk in Celsius, which... I don't know, they think they're like really smart or something. But anyway, we're walking in, our group has like so many people in it, like teachers and all these people with like weird jobs, which don't really have anything to do with the story. But anyway, this guy was wearing like this Amazon hat that you would see someone wearing in the Amazon or something. But anyway, so we were walking and we had to sit down because we were just so tired. So we sat down on this bench, me and my cousin, we talked a little bit, but then we realized our like, tour guide is so far ahead, so we need to go catch up with him. So we get up and we're like, fast walking through all these Italians, and finally someone taps my cousin on the shoulder, and he's like, did you just sit down? And my cousin's like, yeah. And the person's like, you sat on chocolate. And she looks, and there's a whole chocolate bar stuck to her bottom. And she's wearing white pants so quickly i look through my man purse and i look to see if i have some wipes to wipe it off so as we're walking the kitchen with the target i'm like wiping off this chocolate wiping off this chocolate and i keep walking and I'm, we're walking as we're doing this because we can't leave our tour guide and we don't speak italian so we don't want to get trapped here and not know how to find our way back to the tour guide or back to our hotel so i'm doing this as we're walking and i try to get off as much as i can but there's only so much i can do for white pants so moral of the story do not wear white pants in Italy and make sure you do not sit on chocolate bars because they could ruin your day at the Coliseum. This is a bonus step. If you want to be full John Mulaney, you need a white bulldog named Petunia that cannot walk far because he cannot breathe. I don't have a bulldog, but this is my dog and he's white, so I think he's close enough. So those are all the steps on how to become John Mulaney. I hope you have a great day as a strong Asian American woman. What am I doing? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Why am I wearing this? So one day I go to Best Buy with Anna and we're looking for TVs and this Best Buy employee helps us and they're really nice but we decide not to get any of the TVs. So I feel bad so I have to get an HDMI cable. So I bring this HDMI cable up to the register and I pay for it. And the guy asks me, so do you have a Best Buy rewards card? And I'm like, no, I wish. So then the guy asks, do you want a Best Buy rewards card? And I'm like, no. Meanwhile, Anna's standing there like shaking her head. She's like, oh my god, why is he doing this? And then we just walk out of the store with my HDMI cable, no Best Buy rewards card, and Anna's staring at me like I'm such a crazy person.
Over one of the summers when I was a kid, I went to Italy with my cousin and this was an exciting experience to say the least. So one day we were just walking through Italy and we were following this tour guide and in this tour there were so many different people, so many teachers and like people with strange jobs. So we just kept walking anyway and there's this guy who was wearing this weird Amazon cap like you would see someone walking through the Amazon wearing this hat and that has nothing to do with the story but it also has everything to do with the story but anyway. So me and my cousin are getting tired because it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit and it's so hot and we need to sit down. So we sit down. And anyway, in Italy, they don't tell the temperature by t Fahrenheit. They tell it by Celsius. I don't know. They think they're like really smart or something. But anyway. So my cousin sits down and I sit down with her next to her and we sit there for like five minutes. We see our tour guide like way ahead of us and we're like we better follow them otherwise we'll get trapped here because we don't know Italian. So we get up and we follow the tour guide and soon someone taps my cousin on the shoulder and is like did you just sit down and my cousin is like yeah and the person tells her that she just sat in chocolate. So you can guess where this led. We went rummaging through my mail purse to see if I had a wipe or anything to wipe off this chocolate because that tour guide was like running straight ahead and there was no way to stop him. So we couldn't just stop and go to the bathroom or anything to wipe it off. So we had to keep walking. So we kept walking and I was trying to wipe this chocolate off of her and it was just like we were walking, trying to wipe off the chocolate, walk, walking, trying to wipe off the chocolate. And like all day, no matter what I did, she still had this brown spot in her pants and she was so angry for the rest of the day. But anyway. She was wearing white pants, which makes the situation even worse because of the person I am. In my main purse, I had a little jacket in there and I could have given it to her, but I realized this afterwards when we got back to the hotel that she could have used it to like tie around her waist to block this brown spot on her pants. But I never told her that because she might be really mad at me. So anyway, that's the story of my cousin sitting on chocolate in Italy and how that ruined our day at the Coliseum.